What's up guys? It is Yabo time. Got a package from my buddy Corey, Death Cat. All right, but I didn't really need the name because I always recognize his tape. So today we have a new knife from Germany. Just got this uh, earlier today. This is an Ed Mahoney knife. Very interesting lock back. So we'll talk about that in the future. Uh, let's dig right in. I'm actually going to carefully open the corners first, come down. This duct tape is certainly good tape. There we go. And then we come across just like that. All right, pretty cool. So you guys eventually will hear a little bit more about that. All right, so this is a big box. I'm gonna kind of slide everything out and carefully get everything organized. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna slide everything out and kind of line up here, and I'll be right back. Okay, there was a ton of stuff in the box. So I think I have everything here. I'm gonna kind of put stuff off to the side as I go through. There's a lot of stuff, so I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna start with these cigars, all right? Send me a couple sticks, which is really, really cool. I know this uh, Quorum, you guys know I mispronounce everything. I think that's what that is, Quorum. Um, this is one of his go-to sticks, so that is really cool. There's a, a nub here, looks like one of the cafes. I have had a Cuban Rounds uh, cigar as well. Very, very cool. So besides that, it also sent me these, which I've never seen before. Chosy Palma. Also talked about these. Very cool, natural uh, leaf wrapper. Quite large too. You don't usually see these like, you know, gas station style cigars that are full size. So that's really interesting. Then we got 10 here, Kentucky Fire Cured Swamp Thang by Drew Estate. There's a few in there. Boeta Pack. A couple other um, miscellaneous cigarillos. Actually, uh, I recognize this little peel wrapper, but I don't recall what those are exactly. Also, a tin of some acid crushed cigars. Oh, there's a note. Uh, these are severely dried out, but I figured you could do something with it. Okay, let's see. Uh, the, you know what? Some of these might be a little salvageable. The ones that are obviously this one <laughs> is very dry and cracked. Um, so that one's going to go in the trash. However, these other ones I'm going to probably just rehydrate. Uh, if you have a cigar that's dried out, you can definitely rehydrate again as long as the wrapper's still intact. Once the wrapper breaks, then you're you know, kind of, I guess, SOL. So, yeah, I could probably salvage those. Um, what else? God, there's so much. I don't even know, <laughs> know where to go. All right, that stuff's off to the side. Let's see this. This is a Mercedes-Benz pen. Well, you guys know I've been into pens lately. If I can get the thing out, there we go. Mercedes Benz. This is a hefty little pen. Just turn, unscrew. No, it's just unscrews. Is it? Is there a cap? I don't know what's going on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I turned the back. That's pretty cool. All right, so I can definitely dig that. This looks like something. I don't know. Maybe if you work at the factory. That's a factory. I meant a uh, showroom. Maybe they give these to the, uh, you know, salesman. I don't know. That's really cool, though. And that will definitely go in my pen collection. Very much dig that. We got a cool bottle opener I see here. We got a cactus with a flower in boom. In boom. In bloom. Can't talk. Uh, yeah, that's really cool. You guys know I'm definitely into the bottle openers. I don't have anything like that. These are really cool. Actually, you know what? A tip if you guys happen to like bottle openers and stuff. Um, which is a stretch because not everyone's into this specifically bottle openers But I have to say like uh, when I'm out with Christina and we're doing like, you know, some different shopping and she wants to look at clothes I'm like, eh, I don't really want to look at clothes uh, At least not women's clothes. I don't mind clothes shopping for myself, but uh, She'll go to stores like TJ Maxx um, They always have really cool knickknacks. I'm a knickknack kind of guy as you can guess and they always have stuff like this All right, so it's always something to be found um, Wow where do I go from here? Oh, this is catching my eye. I got the punch cutter. I don't think I've seen this one before. Let's pull out and push. Oh, there we go. All right, so it pushes out. We got our blades. Oh, that's cool. So the button retracts. Oh, it's a different button. So pushing out. And a different button says hello. Very cool. You guys know I like my punch cutters. Actually, I was solely using punch cutters forever until I switched to the uh, Perfecto Cutter by Cuban Crafters. But you know what, every now and again, I might go back to a punch cut, so that's really cool. 
put that off to the side. We got a interesting lighter. No knife. I knew it was a knife. I, I could see the uh, flipper here, the thumb studs, but I thought maybe there's a lighter in here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> there's actually a, a wheel, but that's not doing much. And there you go. All right, Billy the Kid. That's pretty cool. That's definitely different. I do not have that in my collection. This might go right into my uh, my weird knife collection because that is certainly weird. I like how they actually put a wheel there. It'd be cool if they put a little flip so it could spark too. All right, put that off to the side. We got another lighter here. I remember him showing me a picture of this a while back. Did a leather wrap on a Bic. Man, that's comfortable. I made it extra chunky and wide. I like the way that feels. That's nice. Oh, I see a Zippo. I remember seeing this as well. So we got a cool elephant on the front. This one's still new. It still has a sticker on it. All right. So we got, I can't see the viewfinder, 2004. Very cool. You guys know I love my Zippos. Put that off to the side. Um, we got some bracelets here. Corey does some awesome power cord stuff. All right. I definitely like these clasps. Those are awesome. Now, I got some chunky wrists. So I don't know if this one's going to fit me specifically or this one. Ooh, I love that. I have a different version. Actually, I like this version even more. And we got some little lanyards here. Little skull dude. Another cool one. These little ones are really cool to throw on knives. All right, so not too bulky. Here's a little keychain. I like this a lot. I'm going to throw this on my keys. Because, uh, again, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to fit those uh, bracelets anytime soon. We got some knives on the table here. This one, I think, is a uh, San Ren Mew. Uh, no, actually, this one's branded something different, but I'm pretty sure they had a model that was just like this. And we got the fake little axis lock, but totally works. Very cool. We got another little slip joint here, a little classic uh, old timer. I like that. Actually, it's locking. There's a little liar lock on this. That's pretty neat. How about that? I like that. That's going in the collection. And we got a battle song. I don't believe I have this uh, particular trainer. Got a little hawk or eagle on there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I've definitely seen this design before. This is, uh, seems like a, a newer one, but even back in the uh, 80s and 90s, they had a lot of them that were designed similar to this. Very, very cool. Definitely going in the old Battle Song collection. Now this knife I definitely remember. This is an old CRKT. It's a, a Hammond design. I just don't recall, let's see. The Cruiser. I don't think I would have remembered, see? Hammond though, I did remember that. Very cool. I do think he actually showed me this as well. All right, it says the locks system, L-A-W-K-S. So it locks the lock. All right, so liner doesn't fail on you. Very cool. And that kind of desert tan. It's very comfortable too. I actually really like that. Cozy. Cozy knife. Now Corey loves his Simpsons. All right, I got some cool figurines. I actually have some old ones. However, this character is completely escaping me. So if you guys can name this character down in the comment section, I'd love to know, because I do not remember. Then we got a little pocket clip type dealio uh, for your keys. You guys know I'm a huge fan of this. Uh, this one is a Key Smart branded one. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says it right in the middle. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. I never actually tried a Key Smart. Obviously, I've had the key bar. I've had multiple key bars before. I like them, and there's definitely a novelty there, but then I always go back to just using a split ring and having all my stuff loose. So, I mean, some people stick with that, some people don't like it, you know. Let me know down in the comment section if you're a, uh, a key bar or a key smart type of guy or gal, uh, or if you just like everything all loose. So, I kind of went, like I said, back and forth, but tend to like things kind of loose as opposed to the key bar or key smart. And it's really because I carry a lot of extra stuff that just doesn't fit in those. If all I had were keys, I would probably still rock one of those. All right, so we have some kind of pouch here. It says ProMaster. ProMaster. Here's some elastic straps. So bigger pockets on the top, smaller ones. I'm not really sure what this is for. Huh. Well, the bottom, I suppose you can put some SD cards in the bottom. I'm not sure what you put in the top here. Actually, that's what I'm using this for. Oh, you know what? I don't know. I don't know ProMaster. I don't know the brand. But I'll tell you what I'm going to use this for. In here, I can put the batteries for my GoPro in this. So I can actually utilize this. Oh, this is going to be awesome, because right now I keep my stuff in a Ziploc bag so it doesn't get wet. As you guys know, I'm usually using my uh, GoPro when I'm fishing. I'm not doing a whole lot of other stuff with it. So it's a little tag. It says hide and drink. You can throw that on your keys. I love leather. Um, I remember when I got my, what is it, Minnetonka brand 
moccasins. I got it in moose leather and on top was like a little tag. I had it on my keys. <laughs> you guys can see old EDC videos. And I am due for a new one soon now that it's October. But I had my old, uh, you know, moose leather tag on my keys forever just because it felt cool. So, big fan of that. All right, let's see. The Blarney Luck Stone. Authentic Irish luck. I don't think I've seen this before. It seems vaguely familiar. I don't think I ever have one. Oh, here's the story. Certificate of Authenticity as well. So you can pause there as soon as it comes in focus. There we go. So pause there if you want to read that. Nothing underneath. Let's check this out. Yes, stone says Luck Irish. Well, that's cool. I can dig it. I like uh, Lucky Charms. Uh, specifically, what was it called? I had someone send me... It's actually really neat. It's a... Um, it's like a resin mold of a predator, you know, the movie predator, the, the monster, I guess you would call it, alien, whatever it is. Um, and it's like a keepsake. It's a lucky thing. I'm trying to think of the word that's used for those. It's just something you keep in your pocket for luck. Oh, the word is escaping me. Um, that'll come to me. I think it's Talaman. I think that's right. Talaman. You guys can correct me down below, but yeah, our ta talisman. Talisman? Maybe that's what it is. Talisman. <laughs> I'm totally losing it, but I remember reading that, and I've heard that multiple times. A lot of guys for EDC, they might have, like, like I happen to carry a lucky coin. That would be considered a talisman. Uh, so if you look it up, and I'm hoping I'm using the word right, but that's all it is. Just a, a lucky, you know, piece, something, some kind of charm you carry around for luck and good fortune. So, very, very cool. Alright, so what is in this bag? We got a little lanyard thing. We got a bunch of keys. Keys to what? Oh, these are bottle openers. Oh, check it out. All right, so the actual key part are different bottle openers. That's really cool. Actually, you know what? I have one of the. I have something very similar to this I got at the wedding I went to. Um, yeah, they they had that was like the, you know, little keepsake from the wedding. It had a tag and had, you know, whatever, congratulations, so-and-so. I'll save that for personal information. That's really neat. So there's some, a couple different shaped ones here, too. I like it a lot. I actually use these too. I use this, I have, I have this uh, key ring for my uh, truck keys. And of course we got another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. You guys can tell me which one it was down below by that purple bandana. All right, let's we'll see how many people remember that. All right, so we also have, we got some cool skeletons in here. Got to fix that guy's arm. You got a black one and we got a white one. This one's squiggly. <laughs> this one's got jelly legs. Those are pretty neat. I like that. Of course, it is uh, October now, so a perfect little Halloween charm. And this. What is this? This is some kind of a tag. 307-147. Hmm. I wonder what this is. You know what this makes me think of? I remember way back when I used to do the mine tours. Franklin Mine, the, the mineral mine. And they used to have like, you know, it looked very similar. It might be what it is, I have no idea. But it was something similar to this, and when you're done with your shift, you would hang it up. So like maybe the foreman at the end of the, the work day or whatever, would look on the board and whatever ones are missing, obviously those guys are, are still down in the mine. I have no idea if that's what this is, but just kind of what it looks like. All right, so we got a couple things left here. We got some uh, jerk marinade, spicy Jamaican. Definitely going to try this. Actually, this is the only thing in the box I knew would be in the box. And Corey, it did survive perfectly. You wrapped it up very nice in bubble wrap. There's kind of a funny story on this, but unfortunately I can't share it. It's one of those things. But uh, yeah, he had me laughing, tell me about the sauce. But yeah, so I'll try that in the future. Very cool of you. Um, ooh, we got the Copper Derringer. You guys know I have a, I have a little, um, uh, excuse me, silver one. I can't spit my words out. Looks like 4.7, I would imagine, ounces, definitely. 4.7 ounces on this, because it's definitely not grams. It's, it's quite chunky and heavy. That's about the same size as the silver one I have. That's really neat. Thank you so much, that was cool. Then we got the this, I remember him showing me. This is like a fidget thing, let's see, does it say something? Infinity Cube. So this is a fidget toy. And if I remember correctly, it just kind of folds in on itself, and that's pretty much it, right? Folds, unfolds, 
<laughs> it's just something there's no there's no stopping there's no end to this it just keeps going and going that is cool though that's a cool little fidget toy you could definitely appreciate that then it looks like lastly here we got actually we had two cases some of the stuff was in one of these uh, cases but we got some eyeglass cases oh we got some eyeglasses well not eyeglasses it's not gonna help me see we got some cool shades here Let's pop these on see how they feel well they're comfortable you guys have no idea what I look like in them <laughs> but they feel good in the head that's neat what's this it says test wear glasses to see beautiful pattern let's see all right beautiful pattern huh what what is that noise oh that's cool all right so you guys gotta see this so here's the here's the picture you can see it is a fly fisherman in a stream and coming in with the glasses whoa look at that he caught something where's the fish there's the fish where's the fish there's the fish i like it i'm gonna use these for fishing how about that that is awesome it looks like there's a little tool in here uh is that for the screws on the might be for the the screws on here i'm not sure all right, I don't think it goes to the glasses, but it looks like it is for a small um, little hex head screw. So I'll put that in the toolbox. Corey, thank you so much, man. Hooking it up as usual. Ton of awesome stuff. Definitely going to try the marinade. I got some cool blades to try. This I'm going to fidget with right now. I'm going to take the, uh, or once I shut the camera off, I'm just going to keep playing around with this thing because it's just fun. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Well, I guess just the way it's hinged is how it works, but it's just fun. That's all good old plain, clean family fun. <laughs> so, yeah, I really appreciate it, man. How about that? Perfect timing. The neighbor has an annoyingly loud weed whacker going. Can you hear it? Of course you can. <laughs> so, anyway, that is it for now. Thank you so much, Corey. Corey is a very special friend of mine. Corey goes by the name Death Cat, but he certainly is a cool cat in my book. So, thank you, buddy. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. So, that's it. Have a good one.